This movie begins with a huge advanced spaceship, which is traveling non-stop from Earth to an unknown planet. This machine is carrying thousands of people, who are in a hibernation state. Suddenly a big meteor struck the spaceship, resulting in one of the passenger hibernation getting malfunctioned. This starship has been traveling since 120 years, and a man called Jim finally wakes up from the long sleep. Friendly AI explains everything to him about his room, cafeteria, game room and much more exciting places. Jim goes into one of the introduction rooms, where one of the assistant AIs makes him realize that he has woken up by malfunction. He starts to panic and now doesn't know what is the next step he has to take. Jim even tried to talk to Captain, but he himself is asleep in a specialized prohibited area. He has woken up 90 years early from reaching the planet homestead too. Jim is sending video message back on Earth to get some help. There he gets to know that the earliest reply from the Earth will be in around 55 years, which makes him devastated. While walking, he encounters a man and walk towards him happily, but his excitement does not last too long when he sees that he is a robot. Jim has started to live his life. He starts to explore the mechanics of the sleeping pods and manages to start it once again. Jim lays inside the pod and expect a gas to be released, but instead he almost gets stuck inside the pod, though he manages to escape. He try to open up the main control room of the starship, but it is too solid. He encounters that the whole ship is started to malfunction slowly. The robot suggests him to not worry about the current situation and live a little. Jim is able to access whole a lot of gold rooms, which contains all the quality food, expensive room and games. Jim's beard is growing bigger and bigger every spending week and he is becoming a mess. One day he sees a spacesuit that can be used to go out of the ship and watch the vast space. He is willing to go further away, which results in him getting very emotional in the process. After the experience he goes back to the exit without a suit on and try to take his life away, but does not presses the button. Later on, he sees a beautiful woman called Aurora and explore about her. Aurora was a famous writer and a great personality. He would sit beside her, watch her talk, laugh and compliment her. Jim talks to the robot and reveals to him that how sad it is to die before he can even meet the perfect woman Aurora. He decides to wake Aurora up, but he is hesitant and not sure about this big of a decision. For a few days, he would jump from waking Aurora up and not doing it and ends up confused. One day he gathers some courage, cuts his beard and walk toward Aurora with a huge equipment that will eventually malfunction her pod and wake her up. Jim has finally done the deed and wakes Aurora up, he could not believe his eyes that another human will be with him once again. He is not alone anymore. Later he meets Aurora, she is confused and gets to know that they woke up too early. She starts to panic and try to get back into the pod, but Jim reveals that there is no way to get back to hibernation. Aurora goes to sleep, meanwhile Jim talks to the robot and reveals that he woken up Aurora, to which she congratulate him. Aurora is getting nightmares and trying her best to get back into the pod, while more machines are reaching a failure point each day. After having a nice breakfast, Aurora is back on her journey to retrieve the pods but fails miserably. Jim encounter more robots going out of control. Aurora start to write about her ongoing life and Jim, on how everyone is asleep and her companion is a total stranger. One day Jim decide to show her around and they try all the games, fantasy drama movies, play basketball and much more. The robot called Arthur would serve them drinks as usual. While Aurora was in her room, she encounters a small statue of a building made by the gym. Jim would find ways to impress her and one day invent a small robot that goes to Aurora and ask her out on a date. To which Aurora reply that she would love to go. Both of them are looking very sharp in black clothes, which gets Arthur's attention and he compliments them. They enjoy their amazing dinner and ended up in the same place where Jim went last time and enjoyed the vast space. They go outside, where Aurora is a bit nervous, but Jim comforts her in every way possible. This was an amazing moment for both of them. They fly off a bit further from the starship. There Aurora gets really emotional and thanks Jim for it. After, they both madly start to kiss each other. They go back to their room and have quality time. Even cafeteria could not stop them from loving each other. While they started their couple life, Aurora was writing everything in her book about it. Jim would sing songs with her, make love and give her roses, picked specially for the love of his life Aurora. One day they are even able to see a star up close, which amazes them. It is her birthday today and they celebrate in the restaurant, where robots and Jim wish her well. Later while drinking Aurora gets to know that Jim decided for months before waking her up to which she is shocked to hear. She once again asked him if he woke her up and he said yes. This made Aurora lose her mind and she starts to panic and almost get blinded out by it. She does not know what to do anymore and cry in sheer frustration. Jim encountered that Aurora has left their room and moved out of there. He is trying his best to talk to Aurora and to sort things out with her, but she is very angry at his actions. One day she arrives in his room and starts to punch him brutally. She even picks up a metal rod and almost hits him dead, but stops when he opens his arms and accepts his fate, which is out of guilt. Jim put himself on speaker and explained to Aurora that how difficult was it to be so alone for a long time and then he found her out. 
He read all her books, articles, and whatnot, but she is still too mad at Jim. In a few days, all the power shuts down and the whole spaceship starts to show lots of malfunction signs, which is getting worse and worse every day. Even after a few days their relationship is not getting any better. Aurora is missing her friends while looking back at the videos. Aurora start to think about her decisions while Jim was designing something mysterious in the middle of the hall. Later Aurora finds out that the mysterious thing the gym was building was a tree. Most of the mechanisms of the ship stops working, the elevator stopped working while the food maker was producing and wasting food on its own. Suddenly both of them see something extraordinary, they see a man standing in front of the tree. The man was no other than the captain of the ship. He tells them that he woke up due to malfunction in his pod. Now they're able to go into the control room and they figure out the lots of things are not working properly inside ship. In the middle of the conversation captain starts to cough blood. It indicates that he doesn't have much time to live. Both Jim and Aurora still thinking about their life and what's the next step to take regarding their relationship. One day while Aurora was swimming and all the gravity stops working and she's in a really bad situation there she can neither escape, nor she can swim. Aurora almost escaped death after gravity was back in its place. The captain reveals that this malfunction happened two years ago. In the middle of the conversation, the captain faints down. They take the captain to an automatic operation center, the machine reveals that his condition is very bad. After knowing the truth, the captain takes his time and lays down. Meanwhile Jim and Aurora can be seen together once again. All the things inside the ship starts to go haywire. Once again they're struck with a situation where they barely manage to survive. But somehow they are able to figure out the main issue that happened two years ago. Which was a small meteor hitting the ship and going through all of its components, hence damaging the main power plant. They try to fix the issue by replacing missing components inside the AI of the spaceship. But it could not work properly due to the main door not able to release the heat through the vents. So now Jim will have to work things out and open the door manually. This is very dangerous and it could take away Jim's life as well, but they have no other choice. Jim goes up there at the vent and he is able to survive from the heat using a temporary shield, but not for too long. He is being pushed further away from the ship and there is no way back for him. Luckily he tells the incident to Aurora before becoming unconscious. Aurora does not waste any time and start to go and rescue the love of her life Jim. She is able to reach Jim and take him back to the ship, but he is declared dead by the artificial intelligence. Aurora starts to panic and tells the AI to override all the procedures, which does not seem to work. In about a minute she hears Jim breathing slowly, which takes her to cloud 9. Aurora could not stop herself from kissing Jim, who is barely conscious. They also find the captain dead in his own room. Later Jim proposes Aurora for marriage and she happily accepts it. When the ship reaches the new planet called Homestead 2, they are surprised with lots of trees, which had been grown by Jim and Aurora and the movie ends here.